News 46, local coverage you can count on. Partners Medical Group. Our mission is to provide the highest quality of health care to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. Pahrump Nugget, Progressive Cash Drawings, Mystery Point Multipliers, Mystery Gift Days, Extra Cash for Four of a Kind, Bingo Bowling Football and Food Specials. Looking for constant action? Look no further. Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino. News 46 is brought to you by Healthcare Partners. News 46 is also brought to you by the Bankruptcy Center of Pahrump. When it comes to sensitive matters like bankruptcy, take a breath of fresh air by calling an experienced and compassionate attorney at the Bankruptcy Center of Pahrump. 775-727-4747. News is also brought to you by Pahrump Dermatology and Skin Cancer. When you need the best dermatology care in Pahrump, call Pahrump Dermatology and Skin Cancer. 775-727-9800. News 46 is also brought to you by the Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino. Located at the intersection of Route 372 and Highway 160, you can call the Pahrump Nugget at 775-751-6500 or you can visit their website at www.pahrumpnugget.com. Com. Tonight on News 46, an intoxicated naked man is arrested for shooting a gun on his porch. Creekside Hospice held a job fair at the Nugget. And volunteers are needed at the Sandy Valley Fire Department. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46. With Rick Vale and Rhonda Van Winkle. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Friday, February 10th, 2012. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Tony Joe for News 46. Topping our news tonight, a report of shots fired yesterday morning resulted in an arrest on Money Street. The Nye County Sheriff's Office has conducted an arrest of 52-year-old Todd Kirchner after a report of shots fired resulted in deputies locating him at his home at 4951 South Money Street. He apparently was shooting off rounds while naked on his back porch yesterday morning around 7.20. Upon arrival, deputies heard more gunfire coming from the back of the home where a naked man stood holding a handgun. Authorities say Mr. Kirchner fired several rounds into his neighbor's property, a nearby business and intersection. According to the paperwork from the sheriff's office, Kitchener was intoxicated at the time and in possession of drug paraphernalia. Deputies said Kitchener shot into a home occupied by six people nearby, but no one was hurt. Kitchener was arrested on multiple charges, including discharging a firearm into an occupied residence times two, child endangerment times four, and assault with a deadly weapon. Possession of a firearm while intoxicated times three. He is being held on $43,822 bail. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. And Creekside Hospice is opening an office here locally. They accepted applications yesterday at the job fair held at the Pahrump Nugget. And so far it's been a great day. We've been here since right around 9 a.m. and it's been fantastic. How many applicants do you think we got today? Well, as of right now, we're hitting well over 30 applicants and they just keep coming. What types of positions are we looking for? Right now we're interested in CNA, uh, social worker, chaplain. We're also interested in uh, potentially LPN and RN as well, as, as well as volunteers. You're going to be opening a facility here in Prime? We are. We're going to be opening up uh, in Pahrump. This is actually the first time that we've actually come to the Valley, so we're very excited and we hope that uh, we can be an added gem to the community. Tell me a little bit about Creekside Hospice. Where are you guys located? 
Uh, originally, we were in Las Vegas, uh, which is where Creekside uh, started. Um, we've been in town for 12 years. Um, we started as a, just a very small family-owned and operated company, and uh, we are now owned by uh, Skilled Healthcare, which is a large publicly traded company uh, involved in healthcare. Uh, we now have uh, well over 400 patients in our census, census, and we are growing and looking to continue to grow, and uh, we're getting ready to open up an IPU unit in Las Vegas as well, along with Pahrump, and we will continue to expand. And tell me, you guys are already taking patients here in Pahrump right now. Correct. Um, right now what we are doing is we're doing the job fair so we can actually expand uh, our staff so we can actually facilitate uh, going on with the, the actual uh, facility. Uh, once we have that established, um, we'll actually have the office open and running and we'll be able to take in a little more patients, but we are actually starting to take patients. As you know, um, you don't actually need to have an in-unit location to actually have patients. A lot of them are homebound, which is fantastic. And what types of qualifications are you looking for? Do people have to have previous experience? Um, previous experience um, would be great. Uh, if not, as long as they have at least reached their degrees or have at least uh, reached any type of uh, bachelor's, associates, anything that would be necessary for them to be able to do the job appropriately. I hear you're not taking patients just yet here in Pahrump, but when you are and when the office is opening, which is going to be next month, right? The office will open next month. We should be taking patients actually within the next couple of weeks. Where is the new office going to be located? It's going to be 2200 Calvada. What's the phone number? It's going to be 727-7000. Uh, there you go. And for, for upcoming patients and if you'd like to apply as well? Uh, you can go to creeksidehospice.net and you can ask to speak with uh, any individual and they'll take you to the proper lines that you need to go to. And folks, don't go anywhere. We're going to have much more local news coming up for you right after this break. Please keep it here. News 46 is brought to you by... Affiliated chiropractic and affiliated physical therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Welcome back, everybody, to News 46. The Sandy Valley Fire Department could use your help. We caught up with Fire Chief Kenneth Smith at their annual fundraiser, the Balloon Fest. Uh, this is our one fundraiser year where we ask uh, help from the community to get the funds generated that we're going to put back into our membership uh, on the department. None of our members are paid, so all of the funds that we raise end up going towards uh, trainings for the department, getting people uh, the gear that they're needed that we're not able to get from Clark County Fire itself. Uh, we put some of the funds back into the community with the children's programs during the summer. Uh, with, through Parks and Recs, will sponsor some of the sporting events and things like that. Tell me what the fire department consists of. You are part of Clark County. Um, how many members do you have here? We are one of 13 volunteer fire stations in Clark County. Uh, we maintain normally right around 20 to 22 members on our station roster. How large is the city of Sandy Valley? As far as mileage wise, I really don't have that number. What we encompass is the surrounding hills uh, around you. We have residents on the San Bernardino, California side that we provide emergency service to. We have residents on the Inyo County, California side, and then of course on the Clark County, California, uh, Nevada side. Do you know what the population is? Uh, roughly the population within this valley on in both of the states, we're looking right around, we believe, 2,200 people. How many calls do you go out on about per year? Normally, what we've been seeing, we were right around 300 calls of, for service every year. With the way the economy's kind of uh, played down, with people having left, uh, new people coming in, we're, we seem to be right around 180 to 200 calls a year now. I know that at this event, we have a lot of people uh, taking some balloon rides to uh, raise funds. We have the California Highway Patrol here. Um, having a little um, area to talk about their service and uh, as well as Southern Nevada Kids Fire Safety House Valley Electric Association. That's correct. Um, we've got the pancakes, eggs, sausage. We've got the balloon rides going. They've got uh, the, 
the raffle prizes inside. We're giving away the, the kids' bicycles. We've got some barbecues. We've got uh, just a lot of it is just it's a free event. The only thing that we're asking for donation, of course, is going to be for the balloon ride. Uh, the pilots have been generous enough to donate their time and their resources. They're giving us all of the, the monies that are generated from that. And then the food, of course, is the only other thing that we're asking any donations for. Um, how many years have you been doing this? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I think they said right around 12. This is our this is our 12th year now. Uh, unfortunately, the last two years with weather restrictions, we had uh, too much wind. Last year, we had too much rain. So we weren't able to get the balloons off the ground. So we kind of moved the date up a little bit towards the beginning of February this year. And it seems to have worked out really good for us. Can anybody um, donate to the volunteer fire department? Anyone's more than welcome to donate. We're always looking for volunteers. Uh, I'm sure in Nye County, they're looking for just as many as they can get also. So how can they contact you to make donations to find out about the Volunteer Fire Department here? Uh, the, the phone number of the firehouse, 702-723-5000. We have an answering machine on it. You're more than welcome to leave any message. We will call back as quick as we can get the message. Um, if you see any of the volunteers, by all means, ask them, talk to them. Uh, find out when the meetings are, volunteer time if that's what you want to do. We're more than happy to take anything we can get. Well, the Navy has named a ship for Gabrielle Giffords, the recently retired congresswoman from Arizona. She is recovering from a gunshot wound to the head received in January of 2011. The littoral combat ship is among the Navy's most versatile and can operate in more shallow coastal waters than larger ships. The ship's sponsor is Roxana Green, mother of the late Christina Taylor Green. The nine-year-old was among six people killed in the shooting. Thirteen, including Giffords, were wounded. The sponsor's initials will be welded into the keel of the ship. And it was just about three years ago that a strange new strain of flu first appeared in Mexico, then spread across the border to the United States and eventually much of the globe. The H1N1 swine flu strain didn't behave like a normal flu because it proved to be particularly dangerous to children and younger adults. The very groups of people who usually have the strongest defenses against the seasonal flu. After a quiet couple of years, more cases of the pandemic H1N1 flu are circulating again where it all began, down in Mexico. But infectious disease experts say that Americans shouldn't be overly concerned. It appears that H1N1 in Mexico is circulating at a higher level than here in the United States. Well, that is good news for anyone that's stateside. Folks, Feliki Tevez was honored with an award for her work with the Nye County Republican Central Committee. Feli has been our chair for five years, and she's done a fabulous, fabulous job. Uh, we didn't even have, when, we, when Mike and I moved out here seven, eight years ago, there was hardly anything to do with the headquarters. They couldn't even have a telephone line. Uh, there were all kinds of things going on, but she's kept us with an office, she's given us great recognition, and she's doing a fabulous job. So this is in recognition of these many years of outstanding achievement as our chair. And Barbara Saguski is running for Congress. We caught up to her at the Pahrump Nugget. Um, I'm a 37 year resident of, of Nevada. I live in Las Vegas and I've served 16 years in the state legislature, in the assembly and in the senate. And uh, we heard a little bit about you speaking about uh, your platform, what you believe in, what you would like to do. Let's uh, get a little quick rundown of that. Okay. I'm running for Congress because I believe we need to make sure that the uh, federal budget is balanced. That's a very important thing. I believe that we have a lot of wasteful spending in government. We need to curtail that. And I believe we need to create more jobs. And the only way we're going to do that is to lessen the regulations that we put on businesses. What prompted you to want to run? Um, I've served in the capacity of an assembly person and also as a state senator and this is a brand new congressional district four and it was open, it's available and I want to go to Congress and help represent the people in Nevada. District 4 encompasses some of Nye County and Clark County as well. Yes, there's seven different counties that it encompasses. And uh, how do you feel about uh, um, uh, your 
you know, constituents here in Nye County. Have you been out here before? How do you feel? Oh, yes, absolutely. Been out in the in all of the areas as a capacity of a legislator. As a state legislator, I've been able to go through the rural areas, learn about the issues, because we vote on issues that affect the entire state. How can people find out more information about your campaign? VoteBarber.com. And as we head into the next break, let's see what's up with Jeff Simmons to find out all the latest at the Pahrump Nugget. Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Simmons, the bingo director here at the Pahrump Nugget Hotel Casino. I will start off with our stage bar every Friday and Saturday night. We have live music, uh, dancing, good, good drinks. Come on down tonight, we have the 360 band. And also, we got Valentine's Day coming up. Uh, earn, for every 25 points you earn in the casino on the slots, you get a free box of Whitman candy, and you, that's for all players. And then the ladies will get uh, free carnations. All the ladies get a free carnation. And then also we have our drawings. Uh, every half hour, starting at 4 o'clock, we have our random drawings, hot seat drawings. And then at 9 o'clock on Friday and Saturdays, we have one drawing for one winner to receive that nice wood shed that we have out in front of our property. So that's a great deal. I would love to have one of those, so I'm sure everybody will. So come on down, earn some points, get in for that drawing for that shed. That's a great deal. It's a $3,500 value. We give one away every Friday and Saturday for the month of uh, February. And then bingo, we got uh, Valentine's Day coming up. We'll have our two specials at the 1 o'clock and 7 p.m. session. Uh, we got the payouts will be 50, 100, 150, and 200. Constellation on the coverall is two, four, six, or $800. And we'll have 10 drawings for different slot play and uh, food comps and that kind of thing. That's Valentine's Day at the 1 and 7, and we also have a free box of candy to all players, all sessions while supplies last. Come on down. We're looking forward to seeing everybody. We'll see you then. Bye. Welcome back to News 46, and we're going to go over to Eileen with your weekly Save a Pet segment. Save a Pet is generously brought to you by Auto World at 727-8000 and Greenspan Brokerage at 751-6200. Put the green team to work for you. Hi, I'm Eileen. I'm here at West Star Ranch Animal Rescue, and with me today, I've got King. King's a black lab. He's about four and a half years old. He needs a good family. Come down and see him over at 780 East Mance, or give us a call, 727-9273. If you would like to sponsor Save a Pet, give us a call at 727-9400. To adopt, donate, or contact West Star Ranch, Call 727-9273. And now let's take it over to Zach Fuentes to see what it's going to be like in your weather. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. News 46 weather is also brought to you by Humana. Welcome back everyone, Zach Fuentes here with your weather. We had sunny skies as you can see with our little artificial sun right there and our high was 71 degrees. Not as high as yesterday but still a very nice temperature out there I think anyways. Winds were coming out of the south at 4 miles per hour and our gusts were only at up to 9 miles per hour so not much of a breeze out there but nevertheless it was still nice. Pressure was at 30.17, UV index staying the same for a moderate and our humidity was at 22%. Sunrise today was at 6.37 a.m. and today's record was 74 degrees back in 1951. Tonight looks like we're going to have mostly clear skies, so possibly a few clouds out there. The low is going to be 38 degrees, which is actually pretty high for our lows that we've been having lately. Winds are going to come out of the south-southeast at 7 miles per hour, and the gusts will be at up to 11 miles per hour, so going up a little bit there for us. Humidity is going to be at 38 percent, and our sunset was at 5.20 p.m. Not too long ago. I'm going to have to change my verb tense there pretty soon. Tonight's record was 19 degrees back in 1946. Tomorrow we're going to have mostly sunny skies, a couple clouds out there, and the high is going to go down a little bit, as it will continue to for the rest of the seven-day forecast, as we'll see in a second. 67 degrees, the low is going to be 36 degrees. Winds are going to come out of the southwest at 14 miles per hour, and the gusts are going to be at up to 25 miles per hour. So Saturday's looking like it's going to be kind of windy. UV index staying the same. Our sunrise is going to be at 6.36 a.m., and our humidity at 31%. 
and now looking at our seven day forecast like i said tomorrow mostly sunny skies sunday is going to be sunny and then monday we're still looking at that 20 percent chance of rain so i wouldn't be surprised if that does end up happening but that still leaves a lot of room for it not to happen as well so i guess we won't find out until next time we talk but our highest high is going to be 67 degrees tomorrow and our lowest low is going to be 31 degrees so not too bad today's worst weather was in dice michigan where they had some nuisance snow. Doesn't sound like fun. Back to you. Thank you so much, Zach. Um, tomorrow morning at 1015, the Friends of the Library will be meeting over on East Street at the library. The subject is, Did You Know?, which will focus on fascinating bits of trivia. And the Pie in the Sky event to benefit Symphony Animal Foundation will be held at 1 p.m. in the parking lot of Wolfie's tomorrow. Come buy a pie and throw it at a politician or public figure. And the second annual Sweethearts Dance will be held tomorrow night at the Saddle West. Tickets can be purchased for $15 at the door. It all begins at 7 p.m. For more information, you can call 727-7011. And the Mardi Gras Ball will, to benefit CASA will be held tomorrow night at 6 p.m. at Mountain Falls. For more information, you can call 702-592-5276. In the town of Pahrump, BLM cleanup will be held tomorrow morning, beginning at 8 a.m. and lasting till around 2 p.m. Everyone should meet at the corner of Kellogg and Money Street. For more information, you can call 727-1592. And I'd also like to send out a very special birthday wish to Mrs. Cooper. Thank you for just being a wonderful influence and blessing in my life and just being you. Happy birthday. Very happy birthday to you. And folks, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Tony Joe. And from everyone up here on the Hill at KPVM, we wish you a great weekend. And we'll see you here again tomorrow night for our Week in Review. Until then, good night, Prob. Good night, everyone.